Hello, everyone. This is Heading Tian. In this video, we are learning uh, 2.1 trig functions of acute triangles. Uh, acute triangle, that means the angle is between 0 and 90 degree. Uh, that means we are talking about the all, all the angles in the first quadrant. So we say quadrant 1. Uh, let's see the angle in the quadrant 1. Uh, let's do a little review. In previous class, chapter one, we say, if I have an angle, uh, so if I have an angle and how to find the six trig functions. So I can put my angle into the standard position. That means I need to have my initial side and then my terminal side and then a point on my terminal side. We say this one, this point is x comma y. And also we need to find the r. r is length uh, from the initial point, a, say the a to b. So that is the r. r equals square root of x squared plus y squared. And then we have all of this information. We know that sine theta, or oh, this one we have the sine a, just to say this angle is theta equals y over r and the cosine theta equals x over r and the uh, uh, tangent theta equals y over x and also you can find uh, their reciprocals like cosecant secant and cotangent but now how about uh, i move this right triangle here for example i bring this right triangle here and then I gave the name of x, y, and r the new name. So here, y is the opposite of the theta. Yes, because uh, y is the opposite of theta. We can tell from the image. How about the x? So x is next to the theta angle theta. We call it adjacent. How about the longest side? We call that. Uh, that's R, we call that hypotenuse. Now the X, Y, and R, they have their, their new name. We call them, so here is the theta, and we call them opposite, that's opposite of theta, and adjacent, the side next to theta, and the longest side is uh, hypotenuse. Now my sine theta has a new expression. How about sine theta? Sine theta is Y over R. Now the y is the opposite. R is the hypotenuse. We say opposite over hypotenuse. How about cosine? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. How about the tangent? Tangent over, uh, sorry, equals y over x. That is opposite over adjacent. And their, uh, their reciprocals, their reciprocals, we just need to flip uh, these, then I got their reciprocals. So let's write them again. Uh, let's list them here. Cosecant theta equals hypotenuse over op uh, opposite. And uh, second theta equals hypotenuse over adjacent. And the cotangent theta equals adjacent over opposite. So Let's move on. So here is a conclusion. Uh, if you see uh, the words here, they are too long. You just uh, use uh, O, so you just use O, A, H represent opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. So spend some time to memorize all of these uh, the trig, uh, trig functions. All right, let's see first one. Example one, find the sine A, cosine A, and the tangent A. Now, it, uh, it provides us a right triangle. A is here. So, sine A equals opposite over hypotenuse. What is opposite? Seven hypotenuse is 25. That's the longest side. How about the cosine A? Cosine A equals 
adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 24. Hypotenuse is 25. How about uh, tangent? Tangent A equals opposite over adjacent. That's 7 over 24. You can also find the reciprocals if you want. All right, let's see next one. Uh, this one, it gives us the cosine theta equals square root of three or uh, square root of five over three. So cosine theta equals uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. So it give, gives us that square root of five over three. So how to find the opposite if I have the adjacent and hypotenuse? So this is a right triangle. I can use a, a Pythagorean theorem, a Pythagorean theorem to find the opposite. All right, we can assume that a equals square root of five. So let's see, a square root of five. So we assume that a equals square root of five. And then we say h hypotenuse equals three. How about opposite? So if I have the right triangle, I shouldn't, I should have. Uh, so here is not given. If I have the right triangle, I have the hypotenuse, I have adjacent. Can you find the opposite? Yes. So opposite, I use O plus adjacent squared. So opposite squared plus adjacent squared equals hypotenuse squared. So the O, uh, so both sides we subtract the A squared, O squared equals A squared minus A squared. Then square root both sides, O equals square root of A squared minus A, H squared minus A squared. Uh, remember that opposite, that's a, a, a side of a triangle that must be positive. That means I didn't put a negative sign. I must have positive. So let's use this formula and solve for the O. So we use this formula, solve for the O. Square root of H squared minus A squared. Uh, that is H squared is three squared minus square root of five squared. Then I'm having square root of nine minus five. That is square root of four. So square root of four is two. Now I have A equals square root of five, H equals three, O equals two. Can you find the uh, tangent theta? So tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite is two, adjacent is square root of five. And uh, can I keep this fraction? No, we better to rationalize this. So top and bottom multiply by square root of five. Then the bottom is Square root of five times square root of five, it is five. The top is two times square root of five. How about uh, next one is asking about the sine theta. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite, I have uh, solved that, it is two. Uh, so, excuse me. The bottom H is three, so two over three. How about uh, next one is talking about the second. Second theta. So second theta is one over cosine theta. What is cosine? So I have learned that cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So the one over cosine or the reciprocal of cosine is H over A, hypotenuse over adjacent. What is a hypotenuse three? A equals square root of five. I need to rationalize this one. Multiply square root of five, square root of five, top and bottom. So I'm having three square root of five uh, divided by five. Okay, we found uh, three uh, missing information. All right, let's see the co-function identities. What is co-functions? Co-functions, uh, for any acute angles A, the following hold uh, true. 
So the cofunction of sine is cosine. So the cos function sine is cosine. So the sine A equals cosine 90 minus angle A. That means if I have sine 30 degrees, that equals cosine 90 degrees minus 30 degrees because my A is 3. Uh, sorry, 30. So co uh, cosine 90 degrees minus 30 degrees equals cosine 60. So we proved that sine 30 equals cosine 60, sine cosine. They are cofunctions. They satisfied this condition. Uh, uh, and also you see 30 plus 60 is uh, 90 degrees. Uh, if I have the sine 60 degrees, use the cofunction identities, I know that sine cofunction is cosine. So cosine 90 minus this given angle, which is 60, I got cosine 30 degrees. That pro uh, proved that sine 60 equals cosine 30 degrees. Also, I need to see, oh, 60 plus 30 is 90. And uh, second, cosecant, they are cofunctions. They satisfy the conditions here. Tangent and cotangent, they are cofunctions. So for example, if I have tangent 30 degrees, that equals is cofunction, cotangent. 90 degrees minus this angle 30. So cotangent, so tangent 30 equals cotangent 60 degrees. All right, let's see uh, exam, uh, example three. Uh, write uh, the if functions cofunction. So first one, cotangent, oh, sorry, cosine 52, cosine's cofunction is sine. And in the parentheses, I'm, I must have 90 minus this given uh, angle, 52. So I have sine uh, 38 degrees. And also I can check that uh, 52 plus 38, that's 90 degrees. Let's see, next one, tangent to 71 degrees. So tangent, cotangent, they are functions. Let's use 90 minus 71. What do I have? That's cotangent uh, 19 degrees. And also you can prove that the sum is uh, 90 degrees. How about next one? What is the cofunction of a second? Cosecant. Cosecant 90 minus 24. What is that? So we have 66 degrees. And also you check the sum is 90 degrees. All right, let's move on to see ex uh, example four. Find the solution of each equations. Find the e uh, missing information or solve the variable theta. Okay, they gave us uh, that cosine theta plus four degrees equals sine three theta plus two degrees. Okay, I found that cosine, sine, they are cofunctions. I must list an equation that uh, the sum in the parentheses equals 90 degrees because sine, cosine, they are cofunctions. That means these two angles, uh, they are, uh, so, they are complementary angles. So I add them up, I got 90 degrees. So theta plus four degrees plus three theta plus two degrees, that is 90 degrees. So combine like terms, I'm having four theta, oh yes, four theta plus six degrees equals 90 degrees. So subtract the six both sides, four theta, equals 84 degrees, and then divided by four both sides. Theta equals 21, oh, 21 degrees. So I solved this equation. 
uh, I solved for the theta. How about next one? Tangent and cotangent, are they cofunctions? Yes, they are. So the sum of the degree uh, of the angles uh, is 90 degrees. So I can list the equation, which is 2x, two, uh, 2 theta, 2 theta minus 18 degrees plus theta plus 18 degrees. So some of you may ask, you didn't put a parenthesis. Uh, yes, you can put the parenthesis because I know that this is addition. It doesn't change anything. So I didn't put a parenthesis there. So let's solve for the theta. Combine like terms. So theta, theta, we have three theta uh, minus 18 plus 18, zero. 90 degrees divided by three both sides. Theta equals 30 degrees. So I solved my theta. Next one, how function values change as the angles change? Okay, so if I have a sine A, if my A is changing, how about my sine's value? So look at the first image. I have a right triangle and this is my angle A. As the A is increasing, let's see the second image from the uh, first to the second. So what value is increasing? So R keep the, the same. So we fix the value of the R. So we uh, like this, we rotate this and the move. So rotate this. This is the origin along the A, uh, the origin, and then do the rotation. For example, I rotate here. So R keep the same and do some rotation from here to here. So Y's value is increasing. You see, the Y's value before is this length and now is increasing. All right, let's see this image two. So that's uh, the rotation happened. So Y's value increased. And uh, I know that sine A equals Y over R, Y over R. R is a fixed value. As the Y increasing, that's my sine A is increasing. For example, if I have, uh, I put some information here, sine, 30 degrees. So as the angle increasing, okay, sorry. And um, as my angle is increasing, for example, I have sine 60. That means R didn't change, Y increased. So the value sine 60's value is greater than sine 30's value because the angle increased, make the Y's value increased. Sine A, equals y over r, y is greater, so the sine a is greater. So how about the cosine a's value? So from the image a, uh, uh, sorry, image one, uh, I do the same thing, I rotate. So I move it here. Then I have a big angle a. So I know that y is increased. How about x? I shrinked because Y increased, R keep the same. So the only thing I can make this balance is X. X becomes smaller than before. I know that R squared equals X squared plus, uh, plus Y squared. This is a right triangle. So if the Y increase is very big, so R keep the same. So X value is decreasing. So my x becomes smaller and uh, the cosine a equals x over r. So x is decreasing. So the cosine a, cosine's value is decreasing as the angle increasing. So for example, if I have the cosine 30 degrees, as the, the angle increasing, so let's say uh, 60, Then my value is decreasing. That means cosine 30 is greater than cosine 60. And also cosine uh, 45 is greater than cosine 60. All right, how about the tangent? 
tangent a. Tangent a we know that uh, equals y over x. If I have a big angle a, my angle changed or angle is increasing. So y is increasing, x is decreasing. So we have big Y, small a, small x. The value, the ratio is increasing. That means tangent 30 degrees is less than tangent. Like a beautiful tangent. So tangent 60 degrees. All right, let's see next example, example five. So let's see if these statements are, they are true or false. So compare the sine 21 degrees and the sine 18 degrees. Mm, we have learned that sine uh, A equals or sine any angle equals Y over R. So my angle from if I have 18, if I have another angle is 21, here is 18, here is 20, uh, 21. So the 21 Y's value is greater because the point here, the Y's value uh, is higher or greater than uh, the point here. That means Y is greater, sine 21 has a bigger value. So sine 21 is greater than sine 18. This is a true statement. How about second one? Oh, we are comparing uh, about the second. So second theta equals one over cosine theta. And uh, so for the cosine theta, I know cosine equals uh, x over r. So its reciprocal is r over x. Now, if I have the angle here, so I rotated, I got a big angle. So the R didn't change, but before X is here. So this one, uh, angle 49, small angle, this is angle 56. So for the small angle, we have the big X. And for the big angle, we have the small X value. So from here to here, X2. This is the x1. Okay, that means as the uh, x x uh, as the angle increasing, my x is decreasing. Oh, so theta increasing, x decreasing. How about the ratio here? Ratio is increasing because the bottom becomes a small number. We know that five over two, uh, small uh, bottom and five over four. So the small bottom has a greater ratio. Oh, that means the second big angle, 56, must have a bigger value than the second 49 degrees. Oh, this is a true statement, or you can add a equal sign here. That means this one is a false statement. All right, let's see next part, tr uh, trick functions of uh, special angles. Now I have a equilateral triangle. That means four, uh, three sides, they are the same. Three sides, they are the same. So three angles, they are the same. So how about each angle? I know that the sum of, of, of three angles, they are 180 degrees. So use 180 divided by three. So each angle is 60 degrees. Uh, and now I have a knife, I cut it into half. So I'm getting a second image. So cut it into half. Then I cut this 60 degree into half. So these two angles, they are 30 degrees and 30 degrees. And I assume that each side of my equilateral angle is two, the length is two. Then I cut the bottom one into half. So here is one, here is one, here's two, here's 30. And pull out this, uh, the half uh, angle, he, uh, half triangle here. This is the right triangle. 
this is 90 degrees and now I know a lot of information. So I know the side is 2, 1, 60 and 30. Assume this one, I don't know. Can you find the length of that side? Yes, we can. We can use the, uh, uh, we can use the hypotenuse. Uh, we can use the uh, Pythagorean theorem. Uh, I forgot that name. Pythagorean theorem. Uh, we can say, we assume this is x. x squared plus 1 squared equals 2 squared. I can solve for my x. Uh, that's uh, x squared plus 1 equals 4. Subtract one both sides, x squared equals 3. Square root both sides, x equals square root of 3. X is always positive. So uh, we, we choose a positive value. Now I have all the information uh, in this right triangle. I can solve everything. For example, if I want to find the sine 30 degrees, I know that uh, in the right triangle, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite, this is a sine, uh, this is 30 degrees. Opposite is 1. And uh, uh, hypotenuse is two, one half. How about cosine 30 degrees? Adjacent of, over hypotenuse, adjacent of 30 is square root of three. Square root of three over two. How about the tangent? Tangent 30 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite is one, adjacent is square root of three. Let's rationalize this. Uh, multiply by square root of 3, top and bottom. I'm having square root of 3 over 3. All right. Let's see. Next example. Find the six trig functions of 60. I can borrow the previous uh, image here because it has the angle 30. It also has the angle 60. <coughs> uh, angle 60 degrees. It's too messy here. All right. If I'm using the, the same image, let's find the six trig functions uh, of 60 degrees. Okay, now here is the 60 degrees. Sine 60 equals opposite over hypotenuse. What is opposite? Uh, opposite is square root of three, hypotenuse is two. How about cosine 60 degrees? Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is one, a hypotenuse is two. How about tangent? Tangent 60 degrees equals uh, opposite over adjacent. Uh, opposite is square root of three, adjacent is one. So this is square root of three. How about the other three trig functions. I just want to find the reciprocal of sine, cosine, ten, tangent. So cosecant 60 equals, so we flip this to, or you, 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 you rewrite this, h over o. That's 2 over square root of 3. Rationalize this. Uh, multiply by square root of 3. Top and bottom, we have 2 square root of 3 over 3. And how about uh, uh, second uh, 60 degrees? So I just uh, flip this and I got two over one. That is, that is two. Do not confuse you. I have these symbols. So how about ten cotangent 60? So you flip this and having one over square root of three, do the rationalization. So top and bottom multiply by square root of three, square root of three here. And uh, I have uh, square root of three over three. All right, let's see next one. Find the six trig functions value for the angle 45. Oh, uh, 45 degrees. I can make the 45 degrees in the right triangle. Then, so for example, here in the right triangle, this angle must be 90 degrees. And if I know one angle is 45, another one must be also 45. And the two legs, they must be the same uh, because angles, they are the same. So 
the opposite sides they are the same. I assume that each side they are one. How about the R? Uh, how about the hypotenuse? So the hypotenuse equals square root of uh, two sides. So one squared plus one squared. That's square root of two. So I found that, oh, that's square root of two, the uh, hypotenuse. All right, let's find this, the six trig functions. The sine theta, I can choose any angle be my theta or uh, because this one, this one, they are all 45. If I'm choosing this one, so sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is one, this is opposite. This is the hypotenuse, square root of two. So rationalize this uh, expression. We can multiply the top and bottom by square root of two. Then I'm having square root of two over two. How about uh, cosine 45? It is adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, adjacent is also one, one over square root two. So we have the same solution, square root two over two. How about uh, tangent? Tangent of 45 equals adjacent, uh, oh, sorry, opposite. Opposite over adjacent. So opposite is one, adjacent is also one. So I got one. Let's find their reciprocals, cosecant 45. So you can say, oh, that's H over O, hypotenuse over opposite. You can also flip uh, this. So I got square root of two over one, that's square root of two. How about the second 45? So you can flip the cosine 45, you can make H over A, that is square root of two over one, square root two, and cotangent to 45, that's a reciprocal of tangent. So you can flip this one over one again, that is one. We found the six trig functions of the special angle 45. Now here is a table. Uh, please, please take some time or take more time, uh, maybe, uh, every day, 20 minutes to memorize this table. So for example, you don't need to uh, memorize this because we haven't started the pi part. So when the theta equals 30, sine theta is one half and the cosine theta is square root of three over two, then memorize all of these uh, values in this table. We already proved some values here uh, and some values here and here. So please spend some time to memorize this these tables, these tables. All right, that's all about 2.1. Okay, have a good one. See you next video.